Hello, my quilting friends, and welcome to this video for the Free Motion Quilting Project. My name is Leah Day, and today I am sharing a new design called Balloons. It's very cheerful and fun and super easy to stitch on your quilts. So let's get on the machine and see how it works in free motion. So to get started with this design, I'm just gonna stitch a wiggly line. And then when I think it's long enough, I'm gonna curl around to form a teardrop shape or balloon shape right on the end. Now I'm going to travel stitch back and this is kind of the key to getting it to look like a cluster of balloons. It's a variation of uh, tree roots. So that's really what you're going for. You're going for a nice cluster and branching effect. So now another travel stitch back. That travel stitching is so essential. And now I'm going to wiggle off in another direction. And you can vary the size and shape of your balloons. You can make them much bigger, I think, for a really whimsical effect. Or you can make them really tiny, like this one, for almost kind of like a seed effect. It's going to be really, really small. It's going to be a smaller element within your quilt. I really like this design for um, more organic art quilts, but you could also expand it and stitch it over the surface of a kid's bed quilt. So it's really got a lot of different things that you can do with it. And you can see I just continue to branch out and make some of them bigger and some of them smaller. Right now I'm kind of stuck. You know, if I fill in that area right there, it's gonna maybe close up this texture just a little bit too much. So I think I'm gonna travel stitch all the way back down and branch off the side of this one. And that's another thing, you can always use those lines you're absolutely allowed to travel stitch as much as you need to to get to a new area and form another shape. That's perfectly fine. So that's it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed learning how to quilt balloons. You can shrink those shapes down, make them small, and they'll be almost like little teardrops. They'll be really beautiful. Maybe is the texture of a tree or uh, maybe some accents in a flower design. I'm seeing a lot of possibilities there for art quilts. You could also expand those shapes, make them really, really big, make those wiggly lines really long. It's gonna really look like a beautiful, cheerful bunch of balloons that you could stitch on any baby quilt or bed quilt. I think it would be fun no matter where you use it. Definitely play with balloons and have a good time machine quilting your next quilt. Don't forget to subscribe to our videos so you don't miss out on any of the cool quilting designs coming out every single Friday. Free Motion Friday on the Free Motion Quilting Project. It's every single week. And of course, share the video with your friends so everyone can enjoy learning how to machine quilt their quilts with so many different designs. My name is Leah Day, and until next time, let's go quilt.